Hello, Ben Schwarmers, and welcome to some 2020 NFL season predictions. I can't wait for these to be wrong, but at least football will happen in any sport because there is literally nothing at the time of this recording. I'm going to be going in uh, division by division. I'll be doing it, uh, let's say, four games at a time, do it in quarters. Try not to take too long. And I'll, oh. Ignore that. I bumped my mouse. Um, I will be starting with the NFC North, getting that out of the way. Call me biased, if you will, about my Packers predictions, but I think I'm pretty fair about it. And I will explain a decent amount of my picks, you know, given that I don't take too much time to do it. And we will start off with the Packers. We'll get this one out of the way. So, get out of here, RuneScape. Um... Starting off, week one versus the Vikings, then week two, Lions, week three, Saints, week four, Falcons. This is how the Packers whoops, are starting off. Seems kind of obvious for some of these, but with the Vikings, a lot of people might complain. But I'm also keeping in mind, like, I'm kind of keeping in mind that there might not be fans. If that's the case, the Packers might even win against the Saints, but... I'm kind of going that there's going to be fans anyway. And my reasoning for the Vikings is because they lost a lot of pieces. They lost nine starters, and they are counting on a lot of rookies to take those spots. And they're, the rookies, the mini camp never happened. I don't, well, at least as far as this video, I don't know how much the rookies are going to be able to practice. And... I just don't think they're going to be able to make an immediate impact. Maybe one or two of them, but that's not enough to replace what they lost. And then week two, we got the Lions. Week three, uh, Lions, they're a good team uh, without injuries. They always seem to play the Packers really hard, but this one's at Lambeau. Beginning of the season, I think the Packers got it. At the Saints, Sunday night, always going to be a tough place to play there, especially when it's prime time. It's hard for me to pick the Packers. I could see them winning it. Uh, but I'm just, it, yeah. No, nah, it's going to be the Saints. Probably by a score or two. Uh, and then the Falcons. Falcons are a hot and cold team. I think they're going to still be kind of cold. They didn't, I mean, they've improved. They have Todd Gurley now, but he's got had his issues. We don't really know. There's a lot of unknowns with that team. The offense should be okay. Defense doesn't really, it didn't really improve all that much. So that is my. Four, first four games. Week five is a bye week. That is disgusting. And anything before week eight should honestly be outlawed in the league. That is my opinion on it. So, uh, some of my picks are kind of obvious. And Buccaneers, actually, no. I uh, wrote it down. I have us beating the Buccaneers. First off, we're coming off a bye week. Let me explain. The Buccaneers are very hyped up. You know what other team was hyped up? The Browns last year. I know the Buccaneers aren't the Browns. They have Bruce Arians. They have Tom Brady now, Gronkowski, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. That is a godly offense. Defense is going to be pretty darn good. But Tom Brady, he didn't look like Tom Brady last year. I don't think he's going to look like Tom Brady this year. He's got Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. They are great receivers. They are downfield threats. He needed a slot receiver. He doesn't. He might have that there, but he doesn't have Julian Edelman to save him anymore. I don't think he's got the deep pass like he used to. Uh, they have Matt Breida. I don't think they have much of a run game. I, I mean, Matt Breida is good. I think he will do fine against the Packers run defense, especially. But I just don't trust it. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't trust the hype. I will be kind of buying into them, but I don't trust the hype. Texans, they had an atrocious offseason. They got Brandon Cooks and Randall Cobb. They got rid of DeAndre Hopkins. That was stupid. They didn't improve. They got worse. Packers would have beaten them with or without Hopkins, I'd say. Uh, it's a matter of will it, J.J. Watt even be on the field. I just think the Packers win this game. They... The, the Texans still don't have that much of a run game. Yeah, they got David Johnson, but what has he been doing the past few times? They got Duke Johnson still, I think. 
I don't trust the Texans. And then we're sweeping the Vikings because of the same reason I said before for week one. They lost a lot of starters, counting on a lot of rookies, and this is at Lambeau. No. It ain't happening. Next four. <sighs> and then week 11. Yeah. Okay, so starting with week nine. It Coming off of a short week, Thursday night football against the 49ers who clapped our cheeks in the NFC Championship game and in the regular season. They're going to run all over us again because we did absolutely nothing to address the run defense. So that's awesome. I, we got, I don't know, maybe one of our younger linebackers that we got last year or maybe Oren Burks finally breaks out. But I just don't trust our run defense anymore. I, I, I don't. Kenny Clark's really good. That's all we got for run defense. Then Jaguars, they should be tanking. If not, they're not. They're going to be mediocre. We better not freaking lose to them. The Colts, I think this game goes either way. Uh, the Colts are going to be really good. Phillip Rivers kind of had our number last year too, even though he played really bad. I think it's the run game that's going to kill us again. It's Marlon Mack and... Uh, Jonathan Taylor. This one hurts because I love JT23 from Wisconsin. And I was hoping some magic way the Packers would draft him, but they couldn't. They didn't. They got AJ Dillon, who I think is going to. I think the Packers' run game is also going to be a monstrous three headed dragon in that backfield. Just saying. So I think they have a good chance of winning this one. And then week 12 versus the Bears, we're going to beat the Bears. The Bears, we're going to, yeah. It's at Lambeau. The Bears may be coming off a bye week. I don't trust the Bears this year at all. I'm kind of surprised we're facing them so late in the season and not any earlier than that. But I like it at the same time. I, I don't know. Bears, they got that quarterback controversy. I don't trust it that much. I just don't trust the Bears. They got that good defense, and that's it. Mitch Trubitsky, they're not even going to keep him after this year, I don't think. Uh, they got the shell of BDN, Big Nick, and that offense. <laughs> they have 10 tight ends. Who needs 10 tight ends? And they paid Jimmy Graham a lot of money. I know I can't laugh because I'm a Packer fan, but at least when we paid him, he was coming off of a 10-touchdown season. Why did they pay him? Just about as much money. Okay, next four. do 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 then uh, Packers are going to beat the Eagles this time they didn't do it last time and they're not going to do it or, wait <laughs> oh wait Packers Bears is Sunday night okay well the Eagles have an okay run game they've improved a little bit I just I think the Packers are going to take this one away from them this time not going to be a game losing interception this time. We're going to beat them. <laughs> we're going to beat them. It's fine. We're going to beat them. Uh, then week 14, Lions. I have a sweeping the Vikings and not the Lions for one reason. Well, for a couple reasons. For one, Lions improved a lot. If they can get out of their own way, meaning intercept, uh, not intercept, meaning injuries mostly and coaching, the Lions are a good team. They're going to have a really good run game, too. Matt Stafford has some decent weapons on there on offense, and their defense isn't anything to scoff at necessarily either. I think they can – I the, pack, the Lions always play the Packers really tough, so I think they're going to take the win here. I, it hurts me, but I think that's what's going to happen. And then Panthers, they got Christian McCaffrey, Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, they got a couple decent receivers, picked some up in the draft as well. And free agency. And that defense is very suspect, though. I don't think the pan. I, I don't know. Panthers are going to take some time to uh, really start to get going. And then the Titans. Uh, they uh, Derrick Henry's going to run all over that defense. The offense, I think, would be possibly be able to keep up with the Titans. But Titans also have a really good defense, too. And they improved it. Titans are going to be one of the top teams in the AFC. They're taking that division. Spoiler for that one. And then the last week of the year, 
Packers are beating the Bears. They're sweeping them. The Lions are the only team we're splitting with. I don't think we're going to go 6-0 and in the division again. That's very tough to do. We're not going 13-3. and I'd lo- I would love to go 13-3 and and sweep the division again, but I just don't see it. I did, we didn't improve all that much. We did maybe enough to patch some holes. Our draft was for the future more than anything. There's a couple of pieces that might be able to do something right away, like A.J. Dillon and maybe Josiah DeGuara, depending on injuries, maybe one of them linemen that we drafted in the sixth round. But overall, I think the Packers are going to go 11-5, and I think they're going to win the NFC North. The Packers didn't get too much better. Luckily, a lot of the North got worse. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, tell me I'm wrong, probably. I'm def- I mean, there are some wins and losses here I w- could switch around, like say that one and that one. Maybe we do sweep them and win that. And then, boom, 13-3. and three. Maybe we even win these two and 15-1. and one. I still don't, I can't. I, until they show me they beat them, I can't do it. But boom, 16-0, and there's the Packers real. That's my real. No, okay. We'll go back. I'm sorry. I'm missing one. That's the one. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said a couple, like just a minute ago, I'm repeating things. And I will see you in the next video.